Winner, winner, chicken dinners. Are y'all excited? I'm getting ready to show y'all 10 of my absolute favorite, most incredible chicken recipes ever. So stick around, keep watching, and let me do the cooking. And let's get started. Come on, let's go. All right, y'all, so supper tonight is an easy cream cheese chicken. So for this, I've just got some boneless, skinless chicken breast. I'm gonna cut these in half. I'm gonna season it up with some Badia Complete. You can use whatever seasonings you want. The recipe calls for just salt and pepper, but this just amps it up a little bit. So that's what we're gonna use. Y'all should already know that by now. <laughs> but to my new friends, I love me some Badia Complete. If you can't find it, you can use, um, like I said before, like nature seasoning, um, cavenders, anything like that. So for the rest of the recipe, you'll have some heavy whipping cream, some mushrooms, some sliced onions, a little bit of garlic. It calls for mozzarella cheese. I don't have any on hand, so we're gonna use what I do have, and that's Parmesan. And of course, the cream cheese. Now, for the sides, we're gonna do some instant white rice and we're gonna have some steamed broccoli. So I just have that sitting out there. But let's get to making this delicious chicken. I know it's gonna be good, y'all. All right, y'all, so the recipe called for chicken, like sliced up chicken. So I went ahead and sliced up some of it and then I left three pieces, like just whole halves. So we're gonna go ahead and um, saute up the onions and the mushrooms first. So we'll take them out. And in the same pan, we'll cook up the chicken. All right, so to the skillet, I have a little bit of butter. We're gonna go ahead and dump these onions in and kind of break them apart a little bit. And then we will add in the mushrooms here in a second. I wanna let these cook down first since the mushrooms are canned. So we'll give these about two to three minutes and then we'll add in the mushrooms. All right, y'all, so I've got this kind of scooted off to the side. We're gonna cook these three whole chicken breasts real quick, and then we will add in the chicken strips. Let me go get my badia. We're just gonna go ahead and season those up, and we're gonna cook it until that is cooked through, and then we will add the strips of chicken in there, and we'll mix it all together. All right, y'all, so I got that chicken out of there. Now we're gonna add in this chicken. I've already seasoned it up. We're just going to go ahead and mix that around to get everything in here. We're going to cook all this chicken and then we'll add in the cream cheese, the chicken broth, the garlic, and all the yumminess. All right, y'all. So the chicken is done. And y'all know that I don't measure my garlic. <laughs> I measure my garlic with my heart. So we're going to go ahead and mix that in. And then we'll add in the cream cheese and the chicken broth. So we have let this sit for just a little bit. I kind of wanted that cream cheese to get a little softer so we could go ahead and kind of mush it <laughs> and get it mixed in. I know it's probably not going to look the best right at the moment, but it's going to taste good and that's what matters because this cream cheese will get blended in here. It'll be just fine. All you got to do is trust the process. All right, y'all, so we got all that cream cheese mixed in. We're gonna add just a little heavy whipping cream and the Parmesan cheese or mozzarella, according to the recipe. That was about two and a half ounces of parm. So we're gonna go ahead, get this mixed in, and we're gonna put the lid on it. We're gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes and we're gonna be ready to eat because the rice and the broccoli are already done. All right, y'all, so y'all can see that that has thickened up, and now it is time to serve that over the rice. You can either have it on the side or whatever you like, but I'm gonna go ahead and fix me a plate of this yumminess. All right, y'all, so supper tonight is what I call cheese ball chicken. That is what my youngest son named it when I made it one night. I just came up with it. So I'll try to give you all the measurements as I go. That way y'all have them so you can try it. But I just have some butterfly 
butterfly <laughs> boneless skinless chicken breast right here y'all need some mayonnaise some parmesan cheese some badia complete sour cream some chopped up green onions some bacon bits i just used the sam club sam's club ones some shredded cheddar cheese a block of cream cheese and that's everything you're going to need we're just going to mix all this together and let it get happy that's going to go on top of seasoned chicken for the sides we're going to have some um, peaches and cream corn and some easy night mashed potatoes as i call them so we're going to make the instant taters tonight just to save a little bit of time but that's all right because it's been a long monday on a tuesday <laughs> so let's get to cooking all right y'all so i've got our um, sprayed casserole dish we're just going to go ahead and lay down this um, butterflied chicken breast any way we can get them in here we'll probably have to put them this way actually since i've got four of them that one's kind of long ways All right, so we got all the chicken in here. We're just gonna go ahead and season that up just a little bit with some Badia Complete. Now I had some new friends on here ask, what could they use in replace of this? I actually have this linked in my description box below where you can purchase it from Amazon. Um, but if you cannot find this or you can't get it shipped to you from Amazon, Cavenders or Nature Seasoning, they both work just as good. All right, so that is ready. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix up the cream cheese mixture. All right, y'all, so we've got our block of cream cheese in here. We're gonna go ahead and dump in all of those onions. That was probably, oh, about a little over a quarter of a cup to a half a cup. Same for the bacon bits. I would go with about a quarter of a cup. Then we're gonna come in with what looks to be like a half a cup of Parmesan cheese with a little to grow on <laughs> and about a half a cup of sour cream. Next is about a half a cup of mayonnaise. That just helps it stay like moist and tender in there. And next we're gonna go ahead and dump in our cheese. I would say about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup. It just depends on your all's taste of what you would like or what your family would like. We're gonna go ahead and give this a good mix through. All right, that now that that is mixed up, what we're gonna do is come in with just a little bit more of the Badia Complete, probably about a half a teaspoon. We'll give that a good stir. This is gonna go over top of those chicken breasts. We are going to cover that with foil, put it in the oven and bake it at 350 for Mm, about 25 to 35 minutes, depending on the thickness of your chicken, but you want the internal temperature to be 165 degrees. All right, so I've got this covered with foil. We're gonna put it in there for about the first 20 minutes. Then we'll take the foil off and we'll roll the top. All right, so as far as these go, I'm just gonna cook them according to the package directions. We're gonna heat this up in the microwave. I'll add a little bit of butter to it once it's done. And then the only thing I do differently with these is add a little bit of heavy whipping cream. And of course, a little bit of sour cream too. It kind of just gives it more of that homemade flavor without having to make it homemade. All right, y'all, here is this delicious chicken. I'm just gonna let this sit for a second. That way it doesn't like scald our mouths when we try to eat, but it is gonna be so good. All right, y'all, so supper tonight, we're gonna make some barbecue chicken, some sauteed zucchini, some home canned green beans, and some creamy four cheese rice. So let's go ahead and get to cooking.
All right, I've got all that chopped up. We're gonna go ahead and get our butter and stuff in the pan and we're gonna get this cooked. All right, y'all, so I've got our butter and our um, bacon grease in here. We're just gonna go ahead and throw this all in there, get it seasoned up with some Badia Complete and get it sauteed. All right, so for this chicken, I just butterflied it. We're gonna go ahead and lay one in there. Since these are bigger pieces, I might be able to do three in each. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and do those three. Then we're gonna put some Badia Complete. We're gonna do some Nature's Seasoning and some black garlic. We'll let this pan fry up in here and then we'll add our barbecue sauce at the last. But we're going to go ahead and get all this chicken done first. All right, y'all. So we've got all that chicken cooked up. All we're going to do is take this barbecue sauce, drizzle it over the top, put it in the broiler for a little bit. All right, y'all. So we've got our cheesy rice. We have our green beans, our sauteed squash. And here we have our sauteed zucchini and our barbecued chicken breast. All right, y'all, so for supper tonight, it's gonna go in the crock pot as well. So we're gonna have crock pot chicken and stuffing. I just have four frozen chicken breasts right here. Um, I got a six ounce box, just the normal box of stovetop chicken um, stuffing mix. And of course, my Badia Complete. You'll need eight ounces of sour cream, some chicken broth, and it costs for cream of chicken. The only one I had is cream of chicken and mushroom, so I'm sure that'll be just fine. I don't mind a little mushroom, but use cream of whatever. <laughs> and then it says Italian seasoning, and I know what they're meaning, but I think this would um, give it a little bit more of a zhuzh if I can, you know, make that make sense. It'll just amp it up a little bit. So in true Sammy fashion, I'm going to use this instead of the normal Italian seasoning and I think it'll do be just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my crock pot sprayed and we're gonna go ahead and get this put together. stuffing mix in and goes that whole container of eight ounces of sour cream and the whole can of that soup now this said three quarters of a cup I think I might go just a little bit above that not too much though and we're gonna go ahead and give this a stir i just don't want the um stuffing to dry out so i'm gonna go ahead and mix this together and then i'll bring you back when we're putting it on top of the chicken so we're gonna put our lid on i'm gonna cook this on low for probably six and a half hours. All right, y'all, so I am home from work. We're gonna go ahead and take this lid off, that water off my lid real quick. And this is what it's looking like. It is not burnt, it's just brown. That spot right there might be a little bit questionable, but it'd be all right. <laughs> so everything is done. It smells so good, y'all, like amazing. It smells so good in my house. All right, y'all, so for supper tonight, we're gonna have a creamy chicken Tuscan gnocchi skillet. And what you'll need for this is some heavy whipping cream. You can use the regular size gnocchi or you can use the mini. You need some sun-dried tomatoes, some baby spinach, of course, some chicken or whatever um, protein you want. We're just gonna use this diced chicken breast. And then 
I got some Parmesan cheese. And of course, I'll be using my Badia Complete in black garlic. I just didn't get it out, but that's what I'm gonna season this chicken with. So let's get to cooking. All right, y'all, so I have a couple tablespoons of butter there, and I've got that pound of chicken. We're just gonna go ahead. It's still a little frozen, so it might take a little bit longer to, to cook it through, but that's all right. So we're gonna go ahead and put the Badia Complete and the black garlic on there. And then we're just gonna let that brown up. When it's browned up, I'll bring you back for the next step. All right, so we've got that in there. Now we're gonna add in some garlic, however much you want. But y'all, if y'all been here, y'all know I like a lot of garlic. So does everybody else. <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and stir that in there. Next, we're gonna add in the spinach and let it wilt on down. So I'm just gonna put the lid on it and let that get hot and let that kind of like steam it and wilt it down. All right, so that has wilted down nicely. We're just gonna stir that on in. Then we're gonna add in our sun-dried tomatoes, which I have drained because they're packed in oil. But I save the oil, and like if I need to season anything else with, it's a good flavor. So I have the little mini gnocchis, so I'm just gonna break them apart as I put them in here. That way, you don't have to worry about doing it in the pan. So now we're just gonna go ahead and give that a stir. We'll put the lid back on it for about five to 10 minutes. And we'll let those gnocchi kind of soak up everything in here right now. And then we'll add in our heavy cream. And then we'll let that cook for about another five minutes. All right, y'all, so this has been sitting for a little bit. I mixed together some chicken bouillon and about a half a cup of water. I'm gonna add that in. And I put about another tablespoon of butter in there too. So we're gonna go ahead and get this stirred up and add in our heavy cream and our cheeses. So in goes the heavy cream. I'm using probably about two cups. I'm just gonna use this little spoon now and kind of stir all this together. And then we'll throw in the cheese. All right, y'all, so I had everything in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this lid on it and I will bring you back when it is ready to be put in a bowl. All right, y'all, so supper don't get much easier than this unless you get takeout. But we are gonna have some chicken sandwiches tonight with some french fries. So this is definitely a quick and easy meal on a busy school night or just a busy week night. So I have the um, Aldi brand of the red bag chicken, <laughs> as everybody knows it, but it, it does taste similar to the Chick-fil-A chicken. So uh, I'm just gonna make some of this and then I'm gonna put some fries in the air fryer and we'll put whatever toppings we want, but I have the lettuce out here. We usually just do lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, cheese, that's about it but you could definitely put whatever you wanted on it so let's get these in the sheet pan and get these in the air fryer all right so i've got all five pieces because it just comes usually i think either way from four to six in a bag and they're they're pretty decent sized chicken breasts so i just went ahead and i'm gonna make all five of those but i've got my oven preheated to 400 and we're gonna go ahead and get these in there and get them cooking for about 20 minutes or so. All right, y'all, so I got our bun sitting here. I've got some mayonnaise, some ketchup, some sliced pepper jack cheese. I also got some shredded lettuce and I sliced up a tomato. So let's get ahead, go ahead and get to making these sandwiches. We're gonna make some chicken bacon ranch wraps. So 
I have some fully cooked sliced bacon right here. We're just gonna heat that on up in the microwave. I've already got some shredded rotisserie chicken that I picked up from Aldi. I have some homemade ranch dressing right here. We're gonna have lettuce, tomato, which this lettuce is already shredded too, which makes it easy even. And then I got some spinach and herb wraps. And then I just got the plain tortillas. Um, some people might not like this, but they could have either way they want it. And then we're gonna have these little baby cakes, but they're just mini potato hash browns. So instead of having like the, um, just the little bitty hash browns, that's how big these are. So they're probably about that big. But this is what we're making for supper tonight. Quick, simple, and easy, and you can't beat it because it's so good. You can also put cheese on this and we might, so I'll just shred up some, but this is everything you'll need. So let's go ahead and get to assembling. Alright y'all, so crock pot supper number five is a Mississippi chicken. And we have about a pound of chicken breast here. I'm gonna season those up with some Badia Complete and a little bit of salt. Now to make the Mississippi chicken, you'll need, I don't know if I'm gonna put the whole stick of butter in there, but probably a half a stick of butter. The original recipe calls for a whole stick, but I don't have as much chicken, so I'm just gonna cut it down to half. Then you'll need a packet of au jus gravy and a packet of dry ranch. And then some, it says pepperoncini peppers, but we like the um, banana peppers better. So we're just gonna use the banana peppers in it. So this is everything you're gonna need. It's a dump and go, which are my favorite kind of crock pot recipes. So let's get right into making this crock pot supper. Gonna go ahead and cook this on low for six to eight hours so i'm just gonna do seven and then by the time i get home it'll still be on keep warm so that'll be fine and dandy and then we'll make some taters and some green beans probably to go with it but that is supper all right y'all so i'm home from work and this is already cooked down and went to keep warm Real quick so the chicken is in there we're gonna give everything a good stir kind of break that chicken up a little bit but I'm gonna go and peel some taters to make some mashed taters and I'm gonna make some green beans to go with it but y'all this smells so good it smells so good I'm hungry can y'all tell <laughs> All right, so there is the chicken. I kind of chunked it up a little bit. I didn't shred it all the way though. And then we have our creamy mashed potatoes. We like to leave them chunky, rustic, whatever you want to call them. And we have our green beans. All right, y'all, so the final chicken recipe for this week is gonna be chicken roll-ups. I'm so excited for this one. I'm just gonna use um, this shredded rotisserie chicken from Walmart. I love this stuff. It is already seasoned and it's just so good on everything. You'll need some shredded cheese. I just shredded a block up real quick. Won't use all of that, but you will need about half a cup, I think. So um, the recipe I have does not call for vegetables but I want vegetables in mine. So I'm just gonna use some of these sweet peas, some of these diced potatoes, and some of these sliced carrots. And that's what we're gonna put on top of it. And we're also gonna mix up this cream of chicken with this heavy whipping cream. And that's gonna be our sauce over top of our um, crescent rolled little chicken roll-ups. So let's get to making it. All right, y'all, so I'm just gonna take these crescent rolls out and we're just gonna start with 
one of them and then I'll do the rest of them and put them in the sheet. So what I'm going to do is just kind of roll these out just a little bit. I might have to, might have to get a little bit I've of got flour. Got it floured up. I went ahead and kind of stretched it out a little bit more. Okay, so what we're going to do is take some of this chicken. Some of this is in bigger sections, so we'll just kind of break it up a little bit. And you want this chicken on the widest end is what it said. So that's why we're gonna put it all right here. And then we'll just roll it up and we'll put it straight into the bacon dish. And then we'll put the veggies and stuff on top and cover it in the gravy. So I'm just kinda tucking and rolling just like that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of them and get them into the baking dish. All right, so we've got our crescents in here. I've seasoned them with a little bit of Badia Complete and now we're just gonna go ahead with our vegetables. And then we'll get our gravy mix in there as well. So to a bowl, we're gonna add our whole can of cream of chicken. It'll come out. We're gonna pour in a half a cup of this heavy cream, which is pretty much what was left in the container. We're gonna give that a whisk together and then we're gonna add about a half a cup of shredded cheese to this. So I'm kind of making this like a chicken pot pie. I took this recipe, which I have linked down below, and I'm kind of making it my own <laughs> and making it like chicken pot pie roll-ups. So it's kind of what I'm going for. All right, so we got this mixed together. What we're gonna do is, as y'all can see, I went ahead and put the um, crescents on top of the vegetables, which is what I should have done because I didn't want them getting buried so they couldn't you know, get crisp at the top. So we're gonna put this mixture all over those and this, when it heats up, will bake down so I'm not worried about it, but it's gonna have that uh, chicken pot pie kind of feeling to it, if you know what I mean. degree oven for about 30 minutes and then I turned the broiler on just for a little bit just to get the tops of those nice and brown which I did but now we're gonna let these cool off and we're gonna have some supper supper number two is gonna be a fiesta crack chicken casserole <laughs> That's a mouthful, isn't it? So I've got about two pounds of chicken. I just cut it up into large chunks. I've got a packet of ranch, a packet of cheesy taco. Now this is actually two recipes combined, so I'll have both of them linked below in case you wanna make one or the other. So I've got a package of cream cheese. It's cubed up. You'll need a whole jar of salsa. I just got the medium. And I've got a can of black beans a whole bag of frozen corn. You'll have to drain those, but do not rinse them. And then to season the chicken, of course, y'all know I'm gonna go with my trio of Badia Complete, black garlic, and cavenders. So good. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and throw all of this in the crock pot, cook it on low for four to six hours, and we'll see what we got when we get home.
All right, y'all, that is it for this winner winner chicken dinner video. I hope it gave you some ideas of some new things to make or maybe some quicker things to make on those busy nights. I just want to thank you all for coming back. Your support and your love means so much to me. I cannot thank y'all enough. And if you are in need of prayer, please let me know in the comments below or you can even private message me. It is an honor to be able to pray for you all. And until next time, my sweet friends, I wish you nothing but the absolute best. God bless. Bye.